Tonight we celebrate the success of staff, faculty, and volunteers. There is a sanctuary that only those who toil on its holy ground know about. It is the Chapel of the Gathered. Nancy has given so much to our school and continues tirelessly to give her time and share she her by example, and her quiet presence inspires others to do the same. She's a quiet leader who is always willing to seek out new challenges. She's a kind and caring individual who has always been active in her children's school life. Gentle Julie gathers in the lost souls of the flock of sacred Heart. This person lives the Catholic faith daily through relationships, with family, faculty, staff, students, parents, and the community. Her passion for helping students of all ages and levels of abilities reflects in her daily practice. His passion for serving others is nothing short of inspirational. He dedicates many countless hours working with the students of Celtics Without Borders to raise awareness and provide support to initiatives such as Development and Peace, Messiah for Africa Campaign, Fair Trade, protests against euthanasia, and the poverty campaign, and many, many more. When one enters the gymnasium or her classroom, one sees the love and respect she has for her students, and the dedication and hours of planning spent to give them quality. From coaching commitments, to always being available to any student needing assistance, or just someone to talk to, Frank is there. Whether it is in a classroom, or in the hallway, or in a staff room, he is consistent witness to our capacity. She lives her faith each day through her compassion and caring for those around her. Uh, our Catholic schools, we keep insisting and we keep saying our Catholic schools are all about Jesus Christ, our Lord, about teaching the ways of our Lord to our students, and about teaching uh, the students to imitate those ways. Uh, it's also about the beliefs of the Catholic Church. Our schools teach the basic faith. They teach the basic things that we believe as Catholic. And it's very important for us to know those things. I think in the area of Catholicity, it's something, as I mentioned earlier, it's a gift. And um, we, we need to totally understand and not take that gift for granted. It's a gift and it's an obligation as well. So we need also to be aware of the teachings of Christ. We need to know how um, the teachings of Catholic doctrine can be embedded into a variety of programs within the school. And we also need, as you well know, um, to have students who walk the talk and to have faculty and staff who walk the talk. So um, social justice issues, um, contributions to the community are all incredibly important from my perspective as, as sort of the Catholic milieu of the organization. Oh boy, you have no idea how well received this is going to be at the Guelph Food Bank. Uh, we at Bishop Mac uh, don't necessarily realize the extent to which the food bank is, is, is used. Uh, the food bank actually serves 40,000 people have walked through those doors in one last year alone. Uh, and with the economic times that are coming up, this is going to, be, uh, it's going to be a tough year, I believe, for a lot of citizens here in Guelph. So Bishop Mac has contributed immensely to, to alleviating some people's uh, hunger. I believe that Catholic education helps to achieve this end. It does so because Jesus Christ is the foundation of Catholic education, and it is in Jesus that we have a reason for living and our greatest source of hope. Oh, I, I you know, they're, this is a very impressive school, and, and they're very impressive students, and so, uh, you know, the opportunity to, to basically talk to, to, to the, the generation that is going to run the country uh, is a, it's a huge privilege and I, I very much enjoy it. 
Well, I think they got to believe very strongly in whatever it is they want to do, uh, whether they want to go into public life, whether they want to go into business, whether they want to teach. Um, I think that they should just give it everything. I mean, they're, don't do things by half measures. Uh, the people who really succeed are people who just give it their all. So it's a whole spring off from leadership things that leadership uh, presentations that we have here at Lures. It goes back to the classroom and from the classroom back to the community into their homes. I want it to be supper talk. Uh, what did he say? What did he say a leader was? How can you become a leader? Well, faith and Catholicity is all about community building. So anytime you're doing community building, then then you're increasing that that part that the spirit I would say within the community which connects us all together. Uh, there's lots of things about the festival that we really enjoy but uh, probably just the atmosphere of having people come and enjoy uh, a great community event, uh, good fellowship and uh, great food and in about uh, probably about uh, 10 minutes you're going to hear some great music as well. Our obligation is to make certain that we're able to deal with the individuality of them and challenge them to become better. Uh, education by definition is is really in the Latin term leading from one place to another and so we lead in different ways we lead by teaching we lead by challenging we lead by modeling we lead lead, lead by problem solving and so all of these things sort of combine to 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 um, really make it important that people understand that we try to treat individuals as individuals and try to nurture the best in them as they move forward. This is an idea and a bunch of us got together and we started a program where we would combine some credits, construction credits with an English credit and a religion credit and we would offer it on site and uh, the retreat center came up and it was an opportunity for us to do a renovation program out there. I think really when um, as I go around the province um, and, and demonstrate to people that I'm, I am doing this job um, I think by definition it does become something of an inspiration for people and I, I think that's a, that's a good thing. But you know there's all sorts of other people uh, prior to me who have been inspirations in their own way who inspired me. Uh, you know Terry Fox uh, certainly was one of, one of the, the greatest Canadian heroes.